All right, folks, you're ready to get your business the spotlight it deserves on Google. Let's dive into the essentials of Google Business Profile SEO. It's simpler than you think. Hello and welcome back. If you've been following our series, you know how important Google Business Profile is. You've probably already got your set up and that's an excellent start. But setting up your profile, that's just the beginning. There are the next steps to ensuring your business gets noticed on Google when customers are searching. So let's get right to it. How do you optimize your profile effectively for SEO? First, why optimize? So with the majority of internet traffic coming from mobile phones, your business needs to be readily visible and accessible across all devices. Have you heard of micro moments? When potential customers are in their micro moments, all that means is those times when they quickly grab their phone and want to know, hey, I'm going to buy something. I need a service. I want to do something right. That's a micro moment. You want to make sure that your profile is optimized to meet their needs. So your business is the one that comes up when they say, hey, I want to buy this service or I'm looking for this product, right? That's their micro moment. So now let's walk through each step of optimizing the process. Step one, fully populate your profile. Think of Google Business Profile as your business's digital storefront. It's your website before your website. You wanna provide as much information as possible. Why is that so important? Because Google prefers to show complete profiles in their search results. Think about it, it makes sense. If you use Google and you pulled up things and all the profiles were empty, that wouldn't be very much help to you, right? So Google favors the profiles that are filled out. Makes sense. So the more details you provide, the easier it is for Google to match your business with customer searches and prefer your filled out profile. So step two, fill in your business description. That's part of it, right? Your business description is where you get to shine and add keywords. It's your opportunity to talk directly to your customers and tell them what makes you special. Use all 750 characters. Use all that real estate to highlight what you do, why you do it, where you do it, this doesn't just help Google understand your business, it also helps customers know that you're the right choice, right? Step three, keep your hours updated. This might seem small, but it's critical. Incorrect hours can lead to a bad customer experience, or if someone visits your business or tries calling when it's closed and they don't know it's closed because your business hours are wrong on Google, it's going to lead to a bad experience. You're gonna lose the opportunity to have that customer. So always keep your operating hours up to date, including any changes for holidays or special events. Step four, make sure you're choosing the right business categories. This is pretty essential when it comes to optimizing for SEO. Categories help customers find accurate and specific results. So for example, if you run a bakery that specializes in wedding cakes, make sure wedding bakery is one of your categories. Accurate categorization can greatly improve your visibility for related searches. Step five, select all the applicable attributes. So attributes add unique details about your business. They can be anything from women-led or women-owned to free Wi-Fi, right? This step is essential because it gives potential customers more reasons to want to choose your business over others. And clicking on your profile over others is how you start leading them down the path to be your customer. And step six, don't forget to do this. I know it can be a pain in the butt, but you don't want to forget this vital step. Verify your business with Google because it tells it that you're a legitimate business located where you say you are. Without verification, you can't usually get all the benefits of your Google business profile, right? You might not even appear in search results. Go through that process, do the verification. It's going to help you maximize the use of your profile. So each of these steps is crucial for making sure that your business doesn't just appear in Google searches, but that it stands out. So optimize your profile, increase your visibility. It's gonna to lead to more customers and a better business. If you found this helpful, please hit the subscribe button. Please like it and share it with others. I'd really appreciate it. If you need help with your Google business profile, check out the link below to New Media Retailer, a company I own. We help small businesses with Google business profiles. Thanks for watching. And if you want more tips on how to boost your business's online presence, use AI tools for your small business. Catch the next video. We'll talk to you soon.